So I had to take Kurt to the vet again, and this is a blood warning, but I found this on the ground and I was not messing with that. So I took him to the vet immediately. He must have known we were there because he just faced away and was breathing heavily. So I had to pet him for comfort, but then we made it into the waiting room. I was just in here like two weeks ago. They probably think I'm crazy. They just took him back. He's back in here. <laughs> so then I just pet him for a while because we were just waiting for them to get back. They were testing his urine. Kurt has cystitis. It's better than it being a UTI, so that's the good news. We have food topper to go on his food for a week. He seems excited about that. This is where it gets interesting. Painkiller and a bunch of syringes. Um, so he's not in pain, which I didn't know he was in pain and that makes me sad. And we're going to give him his first one right now. There we go. So I'll be taking care of Kurt. I'll keep you guys updated. The vet did say the painkiller can make it seem like